guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Corey, and today we are going to unglam. Um, yeah, so if you know me, you know that I love skincare, I love facial products. I've been into it for about like a year and a half, two years now. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, without further ado, roll tie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, did I trick you? You're right there now. Okay, so first things first. We're putting on our handy dandy headband. Uh, this is from Amazon, stay tuned. I'm doing a what I bought during quarantine video. This is it, because <laughs> I bought a lot of things for quarantine, I'll tell you. So I just put it behind my head. And we have a bunny. So first things first, I'm gonna take these little cotton pads. I have um, makeup on, you aren't an idiot, so you can see that. But I also just did, which stay tuned for this. It was supposed to be posted already, but I just went over the footage, and it looks like 95% of the time I was out of frame. So that's, that's on me. Yeah, but I just did a video of how I put on my individual lash extensions and they're the ones that last a little bit longer. So because of that, I take off my makeup with a cotton pad so I can get all in like the crevices and around. So this is the Nikeo uh, Sweet Almond Cleansing Oil Balm and it's bomb. So I actually started using this because I ran out of the makeup remover that I usually use. So I use this one and let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not trying to cheat on the product that I usually use, but sis, that's just the tea. Take it, take it how you will. So I just take a tiny bit of this little nine piece, and then I massage it in my hands, and it instantly, you see that? It was instant, turns into um, an oil. I'm going to wet my cotton pad, shocker, and then we are going for the kill. Okay, I'm gonna take another one dry now. This one I fold in half, like so, and then I go into my eye to get it out, get out my eyeshadow and such. All right, we're losing some lashes here and there, but that's expected because this is an oil product, so I can't be really shocked. Cool, okay, now that we've gotten like that base layer off, we are now gonna do one more wet one. And so like, just looking at my face, I'd be like, oh girl, you're almost clean, you just gotta rinse so off, you good. But no, just wait, you guys. So much more makeup is on my face that you can't even tell. It's crazy. Is that the vibe for them? All right, we did it. We did it. I'll re put them on tomorrow, please. Okay, so now that I took my lashes off, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more to put into my lashes. Next product I'm gonna use is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. And it's a little like, squeeze pump thing. So I'm going to wet my face first, right? And then I squeeze just like a dime size amount. Maybe a quarter size. A quarter size amount because I have makeup on so I really want to get in there. Rub it around. Not too much. You don't want to rub it in your hand too much because then that actually starts activating it on your hand and you want it to activate it on your face because it has little like uh, seeds kind of. I think it's from the fruit that they use, but it's not harsh. So it's not like a salt or like a sugar that's kind of like harsh and tears your skin apart. Um, it's a very like soft exfoliant. Okay, so we have this little like loofah thing. It's from Honest Beauty. When it dries up, it gets hard, so you have to run it over, kind of like a beauty blender. And then I just rub. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my face off. Skin is very delicate, especially on the face, so you don't want to like rub it around. But you can see I have like dirt spots still. Okay, next thing is my micellar water. This is the Birds and Bees. I've used a lot of different micellar waters and all of them are kind of the same to me. So I just put it on a cotton pad like that. But the micellar water really gets into your pores. So it's not just like a regular water or a regular scrub or anything like that. It really gets into your pores, and I swear this stuff takes it all off. 
Like this is the point where it's like, oh, your makeup's off. Okay, but see, it still has a little something. So I usually do about like three or four, honestly, depending on how much makeup I've had on. Okay, so we're looking good. It's looking pretty like clean. Still a little tiny bit of something on there. We're gonna do one more this time. This one's gonna be all around like my, my edges over here. And you'll feel it too when it is clean. It'll start like sudsing up a little bit more in your face and that means that it's just mixing with the micer water in your face as opposed to the oils and the makeup. So see, this one's pretty clean. Next thing we're gonna get is my ordinary face um, mask. So this is really good. I, You can see I have some like dark spots that I've gotten since quarantine and masks and all that stuff. So this is really helping to clear up those dark spots. It also makes your face really smooth. I don't know like the science behind it, but it's straight chemicals. It's good because it doesn't have like all those extra things that some other face masks do. Um, so just, it kind of just like gets to the point. It's also a dupe for a Drunk Elephant one, and I actually really like this. The Drunk Elephant is like $100. This is only, I think, 6 or $7. Okay, my face is dry now, so I'm going to, I squeeze it, pull it up, and it's like a little syringe thing. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. And then I take two fingers, and I rub it all in. It kind of tingles at first, and you might think like, oh, my face is raining off. That just means it's working, no big deal. Okay, so this stuff you only keep on your face for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and that's it. Other masks I'll usually leave on for a longer time, but this one, because it's strictly chemicals, you only want to keep it on for 10 minutes. So we're gonna sit with this and then come right back and finish it. Okay, we're back. It's been 10 minutes and this is how it looks. It's still kind of like sticky, but not as wet as it is when you first apply it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rinse this off with some cool water. It still feels a little tingly, but I, I would say that the tingliness goes away after maybe like two or three minutes. Okay, after I take that off, my skin feels so soft and firm. It just feels like it's new and like plump, like look. It does feel a little bit dry though, that is the one thing I will say, like after my skin is really dry. Soft but not smooth, there we go, that's the description. Next thing I've been using is Maracuja oil. So I have this little one from Tarte, and then I also have one from, this is the one from Nikeo that I have. Um, it's the same thing, this one has Maracuja and Yangu. I don't know what that means, but it's like a restore. So I usually use this one if I feel like my skin is really dry, like even before putting the um, face mask on, like if it's just been dry like for that day or something. This skin hasn't been really too dry, so I'm gonna use the Tarte one. And this is actually really good too if you put it on before your makeup. It makes your makeup come out really smooth. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't like the smell. I realize that like I just don't think I like the smell of marcunia, whatever that is. But it feels good, so that's all that matters. So next I have this stuff I swear by, the Laneige Cream Skin um, Toner and Moisturizer. So since it's a co combination of toner and moisturizer, I put it on as my last step. It's very liquidy, but it comes out like a milk, kind of. And then when you put it all over your face, your face feels like a baby's bottom like it feels so good just at first i didn't know how to apply this because it's so liquidy that you're like it's just gonna drip everywhere so i just take like the cup of my hands i put it right at my fingertips a few drops and sometimes it does spill over it's okay that's why i do it over the sink i rub it and then put it all over my skin and then i pat this into my skin so as soon as i get the product all over i just pat 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 Okay, that's all in. And let me tell you guys, my face is feeling so good. So I let this sit for a second, and then we're just gonna do a spray to top it all off. Next, we have the Tatcha Kisu um, lip mask. I put this on at night before I go to sleep, and I let it sit on my lips, and it feels amazing. So for a while during the quarantine, my lips were really bad, chopping up a lot, um, flaking up. I had some like bruises of lip like all over my lips. It was really bad. And then I started using this product, and 
my whole life changed. If I didn't have problems with my lips before I started using this, I would be like, oh, it's just another lip balm kind of thing. But because I was having problems and then I used this and it like cleared it up immediately after like two days, then I know that this product is really good. So I would recommend it. Anything Tatcha is just so good. This is the EIR New York City. It's a toner, so we already used a toner, but we're also going to spray this on because it's a hydrating face mist. So it really hydrates your face. I like to put it on at night and let it sit in my skin overnight because then you wake up and you feel hydrated. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next video where some of these products are gonna be like reoccurring. So if you watch that video, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I will see you guys soon. Love you.